I'm busy filming a special video project on a coral reef in northeast corner of South Africa. Sadwana Bay is famous for its healthy population of coral inhabited by 1,283 confirmed species of fish. My main objective today is to discover a special kind of underwater marine life. I'm going to start diving as soon as the sun sets. This part of the ocean can be quite tricky. For safety reasons, the dive sites are not far away from the shore. Everyone on board is equipped with identifying xylems, giving away phosphorescent colors. I also carry with me custom-made blue lights. What I'm looking for is fluorescence of marine life. While this effect has been previously filmed in some places in the world, I am the first one to explore it right here. Only certain species of coral and other animals have the ability to fluoresce. You can see that where the anemone has it, but the porcelain crab that lives inside the anemone does not fluoresce. Same case with the two bar anemone fish living within another glowing symbiotic partner. Fluorescence is achieved by accumulating very long wavelengths of light and re-emitting it with different glowing colors, mostly green, red and yellow. It is thought to have a deterring effect against some predators with the ability to see those colors or even a way to find mating partners. These waters are famous for being surgy, which during the day is acceptable and you quickly get used to it. But at night it becomes a big issue, as you cannot see where it is taking you. Another challenge to achieve a steady shot came from the marine life itself massive potato bass, usually friendly during the day, at night turned into a menace of hunting mode, constantly bumping into me and ruining the shots. They were going after small fish, exposed by my light, so I had to turn it off quite often, in order not to give the bass the unfair advantage of seeing its prey. Because of the lights being so powerful, they heated up quite quickly, which immediately attracted hordes of tiny fish that swamped my lens like flies. In most cases, I had about 10 seconds to take the shot, before they arrived and blurred the frame. Long story short, I managed to film some parts of the local reef and get interesting findings. 